Good morning, friends. Uh, we've got a book here. Quick Scripture Reference for Counseling. Expanded Edition by John G. John G. I'm going to say it's Cruis. Cruz. K-R-U-I-S. And uh, this book was sent to me by my wonderful, wonderful friend, Darlene. And uh, I found it handy. Uh, uh, leading people to Christ. Uh, today's topic is uh, death and eternal life. Uh, we've not read this before, uh, but we're going to read some of it here in a minute, see what it says. Uh, over 40 people have died because of the storm, and uh, there may be more to die. There's landslides, uh, mudslides, uh, there's trees falling, there's uh, dams overflowing, uh, there's lots of things going on because of this storm that came through. Uh, people have lost their loved ones. People are heartbroken. Uh, people are hurt. Uh, people have lost everything they had. Uh, some of those people had Jesus, and some of those people probably didn't have Jesus. And uh, it breaks my heart. I read a post this morning. It's from a real caring person, but uh, they said they only got a little rain. Ain't we grateful that we only got a little rain? I tell you what, God spared us, but God took some too. God help. God help. Relationships have been broken. They've been ended. A lifetime of love has been destroyed. A lifetime of wonderful relationships. It's not so bad for those that have Jesus Christ in eternal life. But I bet some of those people didn't have him. God bless my friend Darlene. In the case of death, the death of a child, see also children, you can face death without fear. Psalm 23, 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they, they comfort me. New King, New King James Version. The believer will dwell in God's house forever. Psalm 23, 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. New King James Version. John 14, 1 through 4. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself. That where I am, you may also, you may be also, and you know the way to where I am going. Number three. That was number two. To live is Christ. To die is gain. Philippians 1.21 For me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. The New International Version. Number four, 
Paul wanted both to remain here and to go home to be with the Lord, which is far better. Philippians 1, 22 through 26, Philippians 1, 23 and 24. I am hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary on your account. That's because he had a mission. He, while he was here, he, he had to work. He was doing the work of God, and uh, he was uh, he was used, and uh, and uh, God took him at his time. But he had things to do while he was here, and he did the Father's work. The death of the Lord's saints is precious. Psalm 116, 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. The New International Version. Number six. Those who die in the Lord are blessed. Revelation 14, 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Blessed indeed, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors. For their deeds follow them. You can have comfort, number seven. You can have comfort concerning those who have died and are asleep in Jesus. First Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18. First Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in the Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will also be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. We'll also be like him. Uh, that'll take place right there about the same time. Uh, let's look under comfort. See if we got a subject for comfort. We could look under comfort. We could look under peace. We could look under healing, uh, uh, restoration, assurance. Uh, this is a great book. Uh, let's look under comfort. Forty-six. Page 46. Comfort. The Lord has his reasons for things like this, though, like the storm and taking people. Uh, he don't he don't he he don't, he don't do it just do it to you. It happens to everybody. Everybody loses somebody. And everybody's got to go at some time or other. You and me. I've got people, <laughs> friends and family that uh, they don't they don't care. Uh, they, they sure don't act like it. They wouldn't give you piss to take a. They wouldn't give you piss, a drink of piss to take a pill with, if you was dying. That's my opinion. About some of my people, they won't call you on the telephone and ask you how you are. Did you survive the storm? Are you okay? But some, of, but some, some, some strangers. I tell you what, some strangers that have come to my life recently. You can't beat them. The love and the care they have shown me. Praise God, hallelujah. Somebody loves me and cares about me. And I love somebody and care about them. And that's the reason we're doing this this morning. Comfort. See also death, forgiveness of sins, prior providence of God, and trust. We'll read three or four of these and see what it says here. Number one, the Lord is our shepherd, always leading us in the best way and protecting us. Psalm 23. 
I don't know what, what Bible that's from, what version, but uh, as long as they lead, as long as they lead us to Jesus Christ through belief and faith. As an eagle, number two, as an eagle stirs up its nest and hovers over its young, so God cares for his own. Deuteronomy 32, 10 through 12. He enriched him, he, he encircled him, he instructed him, he kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirs up its nest, hovers over its young, spreading out its wings, taking them up, carrying them on its wings, so the Lord alone led him, and there was no foreign God with him. New King James Version. As a father cares for his children, so God cares for his own. His love is everlasting. Psalm 103, 8 through 18. Number, that was number three. Number four, God always shelters those who put their trust in him. Psalm 91, verses 1 through 2. He who, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. That's the New, the new American Standard Bible, NASB. Let's read one more here. It may be more than that. God knows us most intimately. He holds us and guides us by his hand. Psalm 139, 1 through 12. And here's Psalm 139, 1 through 3. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You understand my thought from afar. You scrutinize my path and my lying down are intimately acquainted with you with all my ways. New American Standard Bible. Psalm 139, 9 through 10. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I dwell in the remotest part of the sea, even there your hand will lead me, and your right hand will lay hold of me. New American Standard Bible. Number six, the wicked appear to prosper for a time, and they do, while the righteous suffer, and that happens. But actually, God is always leading us in the best way. He comforts us with his presence. It rains on the good, and it rains on the bad. Psalm 73 23 through 24. Yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And afterward, you will take me into glory. The New International Version. Number seven. The sufferings of the present time are not worth comparing with the coming glory. Romans 8, 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is to be revealed to us. New American Standard Bible. We'll read one more here. Number eight, God works all things together for our good. Romans 8, 28. And we know that God causes all things to work together for good to, to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. New American Standard Bible. My purpose for the reading this morning is uh, to comfort somebody and uh, maybe somebody will come to Jesus Christ. We wish that none would perish, but uh, people have perished and uh, things have happened. And, uh, let's pray. Father in heaven, have mercy on us, Lord. Many people have perished because of the storm and uh, we don't know the reason why, God, but you know the reason why. You have your reason. And uh, we, ha we, we have to accept that to be a child of God. Uh, we may not like it, but uh, we pray today, Lord, that uh, you comfort those that are suffering because they've lost family members, because they've lost the things they have. They've lost their homes. They've lost uh, their belongings. Uh, we pray, Lord, that you give them comfort. We 
give them some kind of peace. And uh, may they come to find Jesus and uh, start a new life. And, uh, and may you, uh, may you uh, give them restoration. Uh, a lady told me yesterday how she, uh, uh, in, in her video about how uh, she fought some battles with the, uh, the powers and principalities and, uh, and how she has received restoration and uh, how uh, sickness and disease has been overcome because of that. Uh, some people have Jesus and, uh, and they are saved and they'll go to heaven. But uh, people are going to suffer in this life and uh, things we're talking about are, are going to happen. And uh, we don't understand God, but some, some people understand better we pray for mercy and forgiveness, God. We pray for healing and health. We pray for rest restoration. And we pray that you comfort and give somebody peace and, uh, and help them to, to make it through this trying time. And uh, we, pray for, we pray for your protection, your love and care. And we thank you for our blessings, God. Please bless our friends, our families, our neighbors, our animals. Guard us and protect us and keep us safe and well. And today we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God bless you, friends. I'm just going to uh, title this uh, Over 40 People Have Died. Please pray with me. That's the only thing I can come up with. Uh, my subscribers, uh, my faithful for subscribers, uh, They'll, say, they'll support me. And uh, my name's Norman Chester, and this is my YouTube channel. And this is one of the things that we do on my channel. I live in Dahlonega, Georgia, Lumpton County. Uh, this area is called Nimbleville, N-I-M-B-L-E-W-I-L-L. -L -L. And uh, in, my, uh, in my channel description, you can go there and uh, open up my channel and uh, you can find a, uh, you should be able to find my telephone number there and my email address, my Gmail. And uh, you can contact me and uh, we'll, we'll talk. Uh, we'll pray. Uh, whatever you need might be. Uh, sometimes the number shows up on my phone. It's a spam or scam. And, uh, I call them back uh, to see what it is. Uh, most of the time, it's a it's a spam or a scam, and uh, it's something. Or, or sometimes it's somebody wanting something. <laughs> and, uh, you never can tell. I mean, wanting money specifically, wanting to beat you out of something. That happens too. The world we live in. The devil, he's got many tricks. Uh, through, through, through this uh, internet and uh, so on, uh, it, it's a platform for the devil to do his thing, but it's also a platform for us to use God and uh, uh, find his thing. Uh, it's a place for us fellow believers uh, to join together those, those of us that are stuck at home and uh, don't get out, uh, I live alone, and I don't have much company, and I don't have many visitors. And uh, if I do, it's usually because I've uh, offered to pay them to come over. Uh, there's not much love left in the world. Uh, nobody does anything for free. People can't afford to. Some people can. But, uh, They've got, they've got their own thing to do, and uh, they don't want you bothering them. Great God Almighty in heaven above, please forgive me of my sin. Please bless my friends and family, my neighbors, our animals. Guard us and protect us and keep us safe and well. That's all we can pray. That's all we can do. Prayer is the best thing.
Thank you for our blessings, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't forget to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. You can't lose. It won't hurt you a bit. You won't, you won't, you won't lose a thing. There's a whole lot to gain. Some people don't believe. And uh, I seen a thing the other day where a man had passed away, and he was a great pastor. And somebody come on there and said that that man, uh, uh, the topic the man had was uh, what it would be like in hell. And uh, this person came on there and said, well, this man knows because he's in hell now. And uh, you talk about getting shut down. And uh, that statement, that that person has been uh, been under attack by fellow Christians. I told him that uh, my comment was that uh, you'll regret that when you get to heaven one day. When you get to the great, well, when you get to judgment, uh, when you open your eyes in hell, you'll re he'll regret that. I mean, he gets cast into the lake of fire along with Satan and his buddies. I was surprised to see that pop up and after I made that statement. Uh, there's no telling how many statements were already made before I saw it. And uh, there's been many of them. Uh, since I made my statement, that connects me with all the rest of them. And uh, there's a page full of people attacking. Uh, you got to stand up for what you believe. And uh, I believe in Jesus. My faith is in him, and I trust him to save me from my sin. I'm in a state of repentance constantly, and I'm in a, and I'm in a fight, a battle with the devil. A battle between good and evil because of all the years that I have lived in sin. I was a methamphetamine addict for 45 years. Praise God, I've been delivered. I smoked cigarettes all my life and I quit smoking on May 30th at 4 p.m. Praise God for that. I come to the Lord late in my life. I played the church along the way several times and uh, been baptized several times and uh, The last time was for real. I come to understand and I come to know. I come to believe and I came to faith. And, uh, I'm still a sinner and I still sin. And, uh, and you know, I intentionally sin sometimes. And uh, God have mercy and forgive me. I love you, friends. Thank you for stopping by. Pray for those that have lost loved ones and lost everything they got.